Hi everyone, Pamela here. Welcome to day three of working with the I Love Myself and Self Love Frequency. But as usual, to start off, we'll start with some card pulls and teachings um, with my guide with Melchizedek through my um, double decker frequency deck. Um, I just, I know I love to show the back. <laughs> this is one of the backs. This is the other one. <laughs> because again, it's a double decker. It has both of my decks in there. I know where I'm going. That's part of my I am frequency deck. And then this one is part of my gold. Seriously? <laughs> How's this? I think that's just so funny that these were the two cards that showed up. <laughs> the same ones, but in the different decks. <laughs> hi, Heidi. Hi, Julie. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Jade. Hi, Becky. Let's see who else here. Hi, Libby. And <laughs> 111. Cool. Hi, Melanie. Okay. So day two's um, teaching that came through was based on my body serves in love, in joy, in freedom. So let's see what wants to come through for today. I'd be surprised if it's not. I know where I'm going, but maybe because that already came out, it may not. So let's see what wants to come out. Okay, so the card that came out is Higher Knowing. Hi, Sharon. Okay, so let's see what wants to come through for that. Hi, Wendy. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to set myself aside um, and allow Melchizedek to come through with a teaching around the higher knowing. <coughs> so give me just a moment, moment to set myself aside. And again, I'm still here. I just allow this amazing, wise teacher on the other side to borrow my voice, borrow my body, as he brings through things that he feels is going to help us out here. Hi, Brittany. Welcome. We are glad to be with you today. 
And the topic that we would like to discuss today is around the higher knowing. Who in their right mind would want to be in a lower knowing? Conscientiously, we aren't always aware of which mind we are thinking from. It has to do with the frequency level that we are at. The vibrational level in the moment decides what viewpoint, what perspective we will see from. In the moments of shame and guilt and fear, the knowings that come forward are based on this level. The deductions, the conclusions, the definitions that are decided in these moments are stored in the memory banks are stored in the cell systems, are stored in the records. Those decisions made based on confusion often perpetuate the confusion do not bring a satisfying resolution. They are based on the energy <clears throat> at the time the decision was made. When a decision is based on joy, understanding, clarity, a higher knowing, then the results will match that. So Melchizedek, you say, how do we get into that higher state of mind when we are feeling shame and guilt. And we say it is not easy in that moment. It is not easy to go from shame and guilt to joy to make a specific decision. the first thing that we would recognize would recommend is to recognize what level you are at this takes awareness it takes evaluation of your thoughts and your feelings it often takes a pause to consider now in this hurry up world who wants to take time to consider when you're in the heat of the moment the anger often makes the decision for you or based on the feeling of anger, a decision is made. Again, we say sometimes taking a step back and choosing which eyes to see any and all situations from. Owning your consciousness, owning your awareness, owning your responsibility to your own life. It 
It takes being aware of what level you are at before you make any choices. So that the choice can be made from the highest level possible for the best outcome and result possible. But Melchizedek, I don't have time. I don't want to be caught up in my thoughts. We say, in that moment, connect to your higher self. Who has access to that? It is not always easy when you're low. It is not always easy when you're in the moment feeling that pain. And that's why we say, step back a moment, take a deep breath, allow whatever feeling you are feeling to be explored and expressed until it is complete. And then it allows for the truth of who you are to show up. The truth of who you are knows alternative opportunities or choices. The higher you knows how to get to where you want to be from where you are now, regardless of where you are now, your higher self knows how to get to where you want to be. But it takes setting your ego, setting your thoughts aside, and owning the responsibility of your creation process. You as the creator of your reality can work with the higher realms, with God, with your higher self, with your guides and angels, with any teacher you feel drawn and trust. But it takes setting yourself aside to allow you to get into the higher knowing. And again, we would recommend feel the feelings, acknowledge them, let them be spent until they are complete. So you do not hold that energy within your system. And then as you fully release, you're buoyed by the natural essence of who you are in truth. We tell you, decisions based on the higher knowing will produce more satisfying results than those decisions and choices made in a moment of anger or fear or helplessness. But it takes choice, it takes dedication, it takes perseverance, it takes practice. This idea of higher knowing is perhaps not often talked about because we are often lost in our thoughts. But understand this, please. You are not your thoughts. Your thoughts do not rule you. You are the perceiver of the thought energy. but you are not your thoughts. The 
the essence of you understands the truth of who you are. Understands the pureness of who you are. Even if we are caught up in the mire. Take a step back. Feel the feelings. Release them completely. Then allow your higher self to replace that with the truth of who you are in the higher knowing. We are grateful to bring forward this teaching today in the hopes that you will become more aware of your choices and the consequence of your choices and how it continues to create your reality. The universal laws that apply to you as the creator of your reality will always be consistent. Understanding these principles allows you to create that which you desire on purpose. And it does take fine tuning and adjusting, maneuvering gently. Work with your higher knowing, your higher self, your truth. This frequency of higher knowing allows you to more easily and more readily feel this connection to the higher you. All the frequencies in this deck allow you to feel the pure frequency of the truth of who you are. They bridge the gap between the lower you and the higher you. Again, these are available. We have brought these forward at this time to help you recognize who you are in truth and realign to it. And I feel them step back. Hi, Becky. Hi, Linda. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Charanjeet. Hi, Elise. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Rhea. Good to see you again, too. So that's quite a teaching on higher knowing. I mean, he's brought it out before. Um, but it's so interesting to understand and put it into context of our choices and again how we create reality um, it's, it's awesome and I'm already starting to feel the um, self-love frequency starting to come through um, Yeah. I'm gonna sometimes the the trance state overwhelms me where it's hard for me to go back and forth through them, but let me um get the frequency up here. Okay. So now I'm going to get back into that state of mind and allow the frequency to come through me. 
um, again, to incorporate this into your life, ask your guides and angels, your higher self, to work with you to receive this, to clear out um, anything that's required to hold as much of this pure frequency as possible. So I'm just going to allow that to come through me. And again, as you feel this, I love to hear how you feel it, where you feel it, what thoughts come through. Share them so that we can all share these high positive vibes, these ideas, these concepts. <laughs> Hi, Blake. Hi, Peggy. So again, just going to bring this energy through.
And they're saying they're complete. I'm still reeling from it though, give me a minute. I'll go back and read your comments in a moment. There's still a lot of movement going on. So a lot of healing processing. So I'm just going to hold space for it. Let me know how you're feeling it now. How has it changed? Understand, my friends, these are not to be taken lightly or for granted. They are from the higher realms, brought forward to connect you to your own divine soul. The truth of who you are. You are not just this body. You are soul, never ending, life, consciousness, awareness. We acknowledge you for the truth of who you are, even when you do not acknowledge it for yourself. But we bring forward these frequencies to reunite you with your own soul. Bridging the gap. Allowing you to understand the fullness of who you are. Every moment that you spend in the higher frequencies breathes more, allows you to recreate that which you see before you in a higher octave, transforming the material world around you. Understanding the process is what we are here to do. Walking you through the process is also what we are here to do. But perhaps do not know the steps, the way there. And we offer you this guidance this instruction so that it may not be foreign, so that it may not be uncertain, so that it may not be obscured.
the steps are not hard, but they must be taken in order to reconnect these aspects of yourself more fully, more in alignment. But the process is a choice. And it will always be your choice to take that step, to make that choice, or to continue on your path as you are. There is no pressure, there is only choice. And with that, we are complete. Okay. Interesting. Um, that was definitely a different aspect of the Melchizedek team um, who came through in that last part. Um, interesting. Um, it's quite a team effort that they're bringing through for us, working with us to, well, as they say, bridge the gap from where we are to where we could be. Um, how awesome is it that we have these beings who want to guide us, to show us the way, to actually walk us through the process? That's pretty cool. I know it's something that I don't take for granted because I see the results. I see the changes happening all around me. So I'm just going to go through and scroll back through to see what comments I missed. Okay. So I said, one said, I feel in the upper chest area. Heidi says, I feel a strong grounding that comes with sitting on beautiful lush green grass, connecting with nature. Becky says, tingling in upper legs. Becky says, feeling it in the heart space also. Feeling warmth in palms. Uh, thank you, Blake. She says, Pamela is great at what she does. I have recommended her many times. Well, thank you, Blake. Hearing whispers. Good to feel such wonderful vibes. Crown tingling now. Wow. Julie says, warmth in my face around eyes and cheeks suddenly like I need to take a nap. Mm -hmm. Peggy says, feeling chills in the sacral chakra. Blake says, thank you for your healing. Heidi says, wow, thank you. Feeling lots of energy in my third eye and crown chakra. Becky says, seeing a white cord. Wow, powerful. Peggy says, warmth swirling around my whole body. Hi, Ty. Libby says, tingling in my body. Yeah. It's so interesting what we have available to us that we're not even recognizing, acknowledging, or holding on to and working with. Um, yeah. And like, um, I feel like his name is Ted um, that came through last. It is always our choice whether or not to walk forward with them or not. Um, most of you know, maybe some of you don't, that I have a program coming up um, that starts February 12th um, that has 10 of these frequencies that we repeat each week, but we add frequencies as we go along to actually it's more than 10 frequencies it's I know who I am um, I know what I'm doing Let's see what they are. I know my value and truth I am limitless self-love 
allowance, I am enough, I exist, consciousness and acceptance. Um, powerful, powerful stuff. And again, um, I do have a payment plan available for the program. Um, for those of you who need a little extra time to pay um, along that line. Um, again, it starts February 12th. Would love to have you join. Powerful, powerful, powerful frequencies, especially when we combine them and we work as an entity of a group. Um, our guides and angels actually come and work with us to clear out using these frequencies. And yes, you get attuned to them as well. So it's not just using them like here. Um, it's actually attuning you to the frequencies. And as you get attuned to the frequencies, they start working out in your life in ways that you could never even fathom. Um, and you also get a deck. One of my decks. If you're interested, um, I would love to talk to you about it. If you'd like to see if it's a fit for you. Um, it is 10 weeks and it's Tuesdays at 10.30 a.m. Um, if I remember right. I believe so. Um, more than 10 frequencies because there are several weeks that have um, multiple frequencies coming through, but the frequencies get used over and over and over again so they continually start to clear out some of the the lower vibe stuff that we've got in our system. Um, and the more we hang tight to the higher vibrations, um, the more that's what's creating our life. And that's why they had suggested that I bring through the self-love frequency all this week. Um, so we've got two days left after this, but um, the more you hang out in the pure frequency, the more that that's going to be vibrating out in your life, creating results along that line instead of the lack of self-love. Self-love is a big deal, and it's certainly not, excuse me, what we were taught to do, at least not in my household growing up. Um, and again, it's the idea that everyone is a mirror of you and when you don't love yourself, you're not apt to find the love in your life as much either because you hold it against yourself. You're running into situations where others hold it against you too to match. But when you love yourself more and more and more, and then you'll find that your outside environment start showing, show, starts showing that back to you, too. I've certainly witnessed that. Um, my husband is incredible. <laughs> um, and I love working with all of you. you know? Great people being brought into my life. Anyway. I know that some of you are going to feel drawn to this program because otherwise they would not have me offering it. If it's you, let me know. Get in touch with me so I can answer any questions you may have. If your soul is calling out to you to work with me, work with Melchizedek, work with your own soul, in this, don't put it off. Start being true to who you are by acknowledging who you are, by becoming more of who you really are, by letting go of the lower crap, by creating from the higher version of you. Yeah, it's possible. I've got plenty of people I'm working with that's living proof. It does work for businesses too. Um, in my Lightworkers Frequency program right now that I have going on, um, last week she said, well, something certainly shifted. She talked about the new clients she had gotten um, and how she's changed up what her offering is. And another gal said she's just like happy all the time. 
Yeah, this is real life stuff. Working with these frequencies, like Ted, um, Ted said, is not a small thing. It's life changing. Anyway, I know some of you are being drawn to it. Your soul is calling you to. If you recognize that, reach out to me. Let's talk about it. If you want to know more, there's information on my website, PamelaBusby.com too. And with that, may you love yourself more and more and more today. I'll be back tomorrow for day four with another teaching and this frequency once again. May it, may it be a blessing to each and every one of you. Bye for now, everyone.